let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Kayan and me and my family, which includes my husband and my dog, just moved to the island of Maui. So we're in the process of getting settled. We are finally in our new home. We are renting, just to clarify that, because I know I posted a lot of renovation stuff. So we we're renting. We were just helping our landlords um with the renovation so i know that's why it's confusing so at the end of the day like everything belongs to them in the house and all the design choices were theirs um but yeah we're getting settled in the house today's very exciting because we got our mattress and bed in if you guys have watched my other vlogs you know we were sleeping on an air mattress and if you watch videos before that you guys know that kyle and i just went on a three-month road trip and we have been sleeping in like the most random and uncomfortable beds you've probably been sleeping slept in like 30 different beds over the past few months and so that's why i'm so excited to be working with lol on this video i actually reached out to them because i was planning to buy their mattresses and i was like you know what let's see if i can do a partnership with them and i'm so excited they said yes because i would have been buying them anyway i think having an amazing mattress is like the best investment you can make because you're using it every night and one amazing thing about lull is they actually offer a 365 day sleep trial free shipping free returns and a lifetime warranty so listen you're getting you're getting a lot of value and basically a guarantee on this purchase so our mattress arrived in that big box um i want to show you guys our foundation that came in too it's also from lol so we got the mattress foundation and then we also got the foundation legs so this is great we got the king a standard king size so this is how it looks right now and then we decided to put the bed over here kyle definitely urged me to try it out yeah and it really does open up the room if you guys saw our other videos of our mattress right here it was just like you walk in and it felt so cramped and i originally intended to do the bed like against this wall so it could be centered and we would have like room for bedside tables but over here i don't know we might push it into the corner because i don't think the closet can open here um, but for now, this is great because we have so much room here. We could probably put a dresser. Plus our projector. Yeah, and then we can use our projector on this wall. So, yep. So let's get the mattress on. Let's do it. So excited. We've been so uncomfortable the last, like, week. Breaking in the bed. Oh, you're getting oh, humped. <laughs> hey, no, no, no humping. <laughs> okay, Hansi, you're so cute on the bed, but get off. All right, we're going to let it expand for the rest of the day, and then I'll give you guys an update tomorrow morning after we got to sleep on it. But you guys can use the link in the description to get $300 off your low mattress. So definitely check them out our main things we want to get done today is we wanted to get the bed made so that'll be done but we also want to work out work out work on cleaning out the office guest room because right now we did sell like seven suitcases which is awesome we were planning to just donate them but we sold them for like ten dollars each so that was nice so we cleared those out but the guest room is still a little hectic what are you boys doing not supposed to be on it here is the current state of the guest room just kind of chaos so we put the mattress over here for now like i've mentioned we're gonna build a murphy bed so i figured having it out will just help motivate us to get that murphy bed done but yeah we still have like a few suitcases clothes which i mean my closet is full so that's why i'm like we really should take advantage of the room 
to put in a dresser but yeah there's just stuff everywhere so we're gonna go through and try to clean this and organize it today it's hard because we don't have a lot of storage so it's like we can go through it but like we still don't technically have anywhere else we can put it so i'm trying to think of more storage solutions i think having the dresser right there will be really helpful and then maybe our like coffee table or having like ottomans that have a little storage or like the media console if that had storage and then i was also thinking about putting something against this wall for more like maybe like an entryway table i don't know what do you guys think i should put here originally i was going to put that big mirror but i kind of like it like in our bedroom it was it just needs to be pushed back into the corner but yeah i kind of like it there and now i feel like it's kind of small for this wall because this wall is so big i feel like it would look kind of like random and small here so let me know what you guys think i made a chai latte this morning i used this it's like the target brand and then i just mi mixed it with oat milk and cinnamon it's just crazy how hot it gets during the day especially in this room like when the sun starts coming through these windows, temperatures just increase. Like this morning, it was like a little chilly and cozy, but now I'm so hot. Like just this like sweater material, I'm sweating. I feel like I just need to go through my clothes again and literally get rid of like anything that can't be worn in 80 degree heat <laughs> because our house is typically the temperature of outside. Um, our bedroom's definitely a little bit chillier, but I'm so hot. I think I need to change into like shorts and like a non-sweater tank top. I do need to do some Hallelujah Sunday content and pictures and stuff, but I might wait till a little bit later in the day to do it because right now it's like prime. It's just too hot. I'm very hot. <laughs> Okay, we spent the last hour or so cleaning up our office, so I'll give you a little progress update. This is what it looks like. That's trash. And we like don't have much places to store things, so this is the system I came up with. Just organizing things by like rooms or categories, so like that box will be stay in here when we have like office office storage and a desk that is all supposed to go in my closet but i literally don't have any more room so it'll probably stay in here until we have a dresser that bag is stuff that needs to go in the bathroom this is all like miscellaneous miscellaneous stuff that will either go in the office or the living room i'm making a little snack i made these a few days ago and they're really good so so i'm using these tortillas i got these from costco they now sell these at costco if you want to buy them in bulk and i put some barbecue sauce so i'm gonna spread that around and then i found these like chicken packets at costco as well so i'm just gonna put divide this pack up between these add some mozzarella cheese and throw them in the oven for like 10 minutes and then we have little barbecue flatbreads And here is how the flatbreads turned out. All right, it has been a little bit. I have been... So Kyle took pictures of me and some of the new arrivals in Holiday Sunday earlier on the, on the vlogging camera, but they just didn't turn out very well. So for the last like hour and a half, I've been taking pictures and making content and Instagram videos and stuff and everything. And I am so sweaty, like so sweaty but 
I'm done with that, so we're gonna take Handsome on a walk, but look at the sunset. Oh, the sun just went behind the cloud, but you'll still get to see it. So pretty. So we're gonna go for a little sunset walk. Good morning. It is now the next day. We slept so well on our new bed. So well. It's oh so gosh. comfy. This is our first time also having a king mattress and it was just glorious. We felt so far apart <laughs> and it was like she leaned over and she goes, I feel like you're falling off the bed and I had so much room still on the other yeah. side. It was just like spread out. It was great. It was nice, but we weren't far apart, were we? What? We weren't? No, we weren't far apart. No. It just felt like it because we had so much space. Yeah, that's true. It was just awesome and handsome had room. I'm making breakfast. I want to show you guys what I've been making. I think I've made this like five days in a row. <laughs> add a little bit of pesto in with the eggs. I could probably add a little bit more. Then I toast up some bread. I use these guac cups from Costco and I spread this on. Today I'm also going to add a little bit of this parmesan sauce and then just do some feta cheese, parmesan, and some hot sauce and it is just so good. Today we're going to have some grapes with it but I like to put a little bit of fruit on the side. This is what it looks like when it's all said and done. Yeah, snorkeling and yeah, diving area. a lot area. of people here today. I think because this like boat tour. Oh, yeah. um, we are going snorkeling. Today is Friday. It's Kyle's day. One of his days off. Let's and go. we decided to make it a activity day. It's Friday fun day. Friday fun day. We haven't been able to do much exploring since being here. <laughs> so None at all. <laughs> we're going to go snorkeling today. We actually just rented. We were planning to buy some snorkels. But the place we ended up going to. Bob's snorkeling place or whatever. Like. A mask is like $130 so we were not ready to make that commitment so no. we rented $15 a day and we just came to a place called McKenna Landing. I've snorkeled here before I saw I remember seeing like two turtles. Dude so. I wish we got footage of the sea turtles that we saw. Oh yeah we saw two the other day. big sea turtles when Massive. we tried to go surfing the other day. We also brought our surfboards in case um, we want to go to a beach after this and try to catch some waves. Yeah, we probably won't be able to catch any waves here. Yeah, very flat, but this is good <laughs> conditions for snorkeling. snorkeling. Let's go. Yeah, so um, I wish we had a GoPro so you guys could come watch, but today you just have to use your imagination. That's right. It's been a while. We went snorkeling. We saw so many turtles. And weird fish, like and like cool fish. This long. Well, oh. I look like a mess. We should um <laughs> <laughs> we should look at the 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 flyer they gave us. Oh, to see what kind of to fish see what, it was? If we can step on the fish on there. But we went. There um, was like a silver fish that was literally like this long, probably longer. Yeah. And it was like this thin. It was, it was just so like a tiny. line. And it, it looked crazy. like it had a super pointy like nose. nose. I saw it attack a fish actually and it was like chilling and then went <laughs> like an arrow and it just bolted it's at like it. It's like a spear fish. It was like a spear fish, yeah. Oh. Maybe that's what it's called. And then there was a shark apparently. A bunch of scuba divers like went down by this kind of like cave area and I there think was I'm regretting there was going. a shark in there but yeah. and like there were so many people over there and you had to dive to see it so I didn't see it because I can can't figure out how to dive yet without my nose feeling so pressury. Yeah, that's why I didn't go either. Yeah, right. You could have <laughs> gone and saw the shark. I, know. What I went back and forth once in, in the head. lifetime opportunity. I don't think so. Swim with the sharks. It was. Should we add that like to sharks. our bucket list? Yeah. Hey. Oh, guys, I'm sore again. Um, but. I'll do the same. And then we ear. went to a food truck. I got food, <laughs> and then we tried to go to a beach to, like, see if there was any waves to surf, and there wasn't, and there haven't been. I don't think there's really supposed to be any waves until next week. Actually, Thanksgiving has like a really good surf report, so maybe we'll go surfing on Thanksgiving. That'd be fun. Um, but now we are gonna go get boba. The adventure continues on 
Fun, fun day, day Friday. Friday. It's fun Friday and like my request today is that we go and get boba. I literally didn't think there was gonna be any boba places, but there is one. Well, there's a few, but there's one open and it's 19 minutes away. Basically, it's a, it's a, to, it's a little to, far. to get to most things, we have to drive 15 to 20 minutes, but Kyle agreed and we are going and we're taking handsome. All right, let's go bud, let's go crew. Let's yeah. go. Got back from Boba. There was actually a like cultural event going on and they were doing a show with a bunch of different, well, there was a lot of Hawaiian dancers and then there was other cultures and stuff doing shows, kind of like a talent show, but it was really fun and so cute to watch. Um, I ended up getting, hi, Hansi. I ended up getting the, like a peach jasmine and I didn't really know what I was ordering, but the jasmine tea was like way too strong. So I just mixed it with some st frozen strawberries and banana to kind of like make it taste better and some like vanilla collagen powder, much better. Now we're gonna like watch a movie. Handsome's trying to help me. Hey, we literally have dreads starting to work out here. Ugh. But I'm gonna make some air fryer chicken nuggets been really good but i also wanted to show you guys something that i installed in the kitchen which i haven't shown you guys yet they are these under cabinet lights that are motion sensors so whenever i walk by at night i can like see the kitchen you know going to grab a snack they light up this one we kind of put in a different direction so if you need it you have to tap your foot like that um, because if you get down low on the ground, they're pretty bright. So this one is pointed towards our living room. So we decided to do it downward. But I wish I found some that were like more warm tone because they are very like daylight bright colored. Like it would be nice if they were like really cozy and warm. But it's not too bad when you're walking around. But I really like it and you can buy a pack of six for I think $30 on Amazon and it's just super convenient. I hate like turning on extra lights especially when I'm tired because lights can really wake me up so anyway that's my spiel on lights for today. These are the chicken tenders I've been making. I got this big bag from Costco, just preheated the air fryer to 400 degrees, and then I just toss them in for 10 minutes, and we've been tossing them in like buffalo or barbecue sauce, but I recently just bought Chick-fil-A sauce, so I think I'm going to like toss half of them in buffalo, and then the rest we can eat with Chick-fil-A sauce. Speaking of Chick-fil-A, we have the best news ever. I think that was something we were going to miss the most about the mainland, and... They're opening their first ever Chick-fil-A in Hawaii, in Maui, like literally 15 minutes away from where we live. There's going to be a Chick-fil-A in early, in early next year. So in a few months, we will be reunited. And me and Kyle were both so, so happy when we heard like literally the best news ever to have a Chick-fil-A. And the fact that they're opening it on this island, like they could have totally um, open one in Oahu, which is way more populated, but they're doing it here first. So that'll be coming very soon. So for now, we will just eat with Chick-fil-A sauce. A really good movie on Apple TV is called Flinch, and it's with Tom Hanks, and it's so cute. It's about a dog and a robot, and it's like, you probably will cry. It was so good and like super like wholesome and just cute. So definitely would recommend that if you look need something to watch. And Apple TV is like a pretty cheap subscription too. I think it's only like a few dollars a month. Um, I never make enough, so I'll really load it up this time. But now we're watching a show called Invasion, and it's about aliens. So. I don't know if you're into that stuff. I usually I'm not into alien stuff, but the first like six episodes, there's there's no aliens in it, which I liked. It's just like a lot of build up to the aliens. <laughs> anyway, all right, that's 
started and I think I'm gonna go to sleep well end the vlog or like I don't know if I'm ending the vlog or like I'll just see you guys tomorrow who knows tomorrow's Saturday farmer's market currently editing but just wanted to end off the vlog here thank you guys for watching i love you and remember jesus loves you more don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and handsome says leave a comment you're freezing up dude oh there you go <laughs>